さて接客の経験はないってことだけど正直全然問題なさそうだね受け答えもしっかりしてるしそうでしょうかほらちゃんと丁寧語を使えてるでしょ若い子だといきなりタメ口とか普通だし私若くありませんから<笑>うちはカムロ町でも高級店の部類に入るから当然お客さんの質も他とは違ってくる一流企業の幹部クラスが接待に使ったり芸能人がパーティーに使ったりすることもあるそういう人たちが相手の仕事になるからとにかく失礼のないように OK? わかりましたあの何か気をつけることはありますかまずはどんな話でもとにかく相づちを打つ楽しそうに興味あるふりをして褒めちぎれなるほど褒め殺しですかそしてグラスが開いたらすぐに注文を促すあ,<笑>あわよくば自分の分も一緒におねだりすればいいんですねああボディータッチされながらのおねだりとかおじさんはコロッと参っちゃうから What? それは無理ですまあ女の子は君だけじゃない同じ宅に他の子もつく先輩の接客を観察して真似すればいいみんなそうやって一人前になっていくんだ頑張ります This guy doesn't know that I'm just gonna be here for one day <laughs> I'm not really here to score brownie points as a hostess This is still an investigation、mm. So earlier the guy was talking about how Saori-san talks really politely And that's cause in Japanese Well you might have guessed already by the honorifics like San and Kun and whatever But you have to change how you talk depending on who you're talking to Like, for example, Mafuyu calls Yagami Yagami kun, but Saori calls Yagami Yagami san. So she's always been very polite and also distant from everyone else by using polite language. I have to find the girl who was with Hashki without blowing my cover. It may not be easy, but I can do this. If they need this info, then I'll get it. Can I please go with a fake name? I intend to continue living in Kamurosho after this, so. <laughs> Mika desu. Hmm. Have to keep in mind that this is a classy club. Do we want to stick out for being.、Uh -uh. Oh! これはまた奥ゆかしい美人だねさあ座って座って失礼いたしますサオリさんとまあそんなわけで会社の窮地を救うためまだ若かった私にお鉢が回ってきたというわけさ今でいうところのブラック上司ってやつですか無茶ぶりにも程がありますな I suppose every industry has its share of problems She looks sleepy. <laughs> She's totally checked out. Not that I blame her. I'm not especially interested in this sob story either. Oh, She's just making stuff up. この子はちゃんと見抜いてるのうちの社長は気づくのが遅いんだよったく<笑> I gotta say something Hmm I suppose anything goes so long as it's a compliment Maybe I really can do this お楽しみ中のところ失礼しますすみれさんご指名入りましたあらごめんなさいこれで失礼しますね They can do that? She's in the middle of another thing right now. しかし、出世する人間というのは、多かれ少なかれ、みんなそういう試練を乗り越えてるもんさ。おっしゃる通りで。<笑><笑>君はどうそういう経験あるえー、っと。Mika's struggling. I need to back her up without killing the mood. Without killing the mood? Do I want to call her out and make myself look like the best one here? This one seems kind of mean. Nete? Nete? Nice! Choto ishki tondeta dake. Igi des. 
同様の趣旨の発言を繰り返しているだけです<笑>意義って裁判か<笑>こりゃいい漫才コンビですなああフュー You have to think fast if you want to succeed as a hostess. Oh, I thought we were kind of being mean to her, but it's more like we gotta entertain the people here, so we're working together actually. Saori chan wa bengoshi ni muite ryo. Uchi no kon bengoshi ni natte mono kara. Sono o hanashi, kuashiku kikasete itadaite mo yoroshii desu ka? Damn, that ring. Those businessmen finally went home. I was so focused on talking to them that I couldn't focus on the investigation. なんかごめんね。フォローしてもらってばっかりで。え、ああ、気にしないでください。私そうやって周りに気を配るのを慣れてますから。キャバ嬢向いてるんだね。私は全然。私なんかよりよっぽど慣れてそうだったけど。この仕事始めてどれくらいなんですかうん半年くらいまああの頃よりはちょっとマシになったけどさ新人の頃はマジ最悪私がどんくさいせいでお客さんを激怒させちゃったことがあってそのことがずっと忘れられなくてまた怒られたらどうしようって頭の中そればっか仕事をしてれば誰でもそういう経験ありますよあそれがねそのお客さんうちの店を出た後で亡くなっちゃったの What? 知らない男の人が酔っ払って喧嘩して殴られたのが原因で死んじゃったって話結構すごい人だったんだけどアドデックナインっていう薬の開発に関わってる Oh my god a lead fell into our lap 創薬センターのハシキさんそうそうあなんだ知ってるんだニュースにもなってましたから私もちょっと引っかかっててあの日私が注いだお酒のせいで酔っ払って私がどんくさいせいで機嫌悪くなっちゃってそれで喧嘩なんかしちゃったのかなって思うとなんか責任感じちゃってさそミカさん was the one serving ハシキさん Oh, I'm really glad to see that we're getting along and not being all catty, being like, oh, well, I'm the best hostess here, I'm gonna make more money than you. That's rough. No, 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 we gotta continue it. We gotta keep going. I need to hear more of what Mika san has to say. It didn't sound like a very good experience for her, though. I could upset her more if I pry too much. We gotta, she's the only one who knows. What should I do? Saori san, Najobu? Ah, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm s o r I need to make her trust me somehow. I'm helping her out. Hmm, his glass is empty. Uh, today I'm a hostess. A glass should never be left empty. If we let Mika do it, sh would she get the bonus for getting him to order? Eyes up, Mika. Ah, no. Glass is empty, but is there anything you want to drink? Ah, so that's it. How do you do it? It worked. Can you get a drink? I want to go to the bar, but it's a little bit late for me. Eh? Is that it? This is my chance. Time to step in. I bet Mika would be thrilled if he ordered a bottle. And yeah, let's not get close to him. Oh no! Oh no! 
いいでしょ<笑>よしここはボトルを入れときますかやったー超素敵ボトル入りまーす Oh, he did get him to get a bottle, but I don't know why that wasn't the right one. I'm just acting. I'm just acting. I guess it's fine. Didn't want to get close to him anyway. Saori san, maji arigato! Konna sgo yuri age dashita no, watashi hajimete! Sonna. Mika san ga ganbatta kara desu yo. Ne ne, kono ato owatta ra nomi ni ikou? Watashi ogoru kara ore shitai! Eh? Demo, sonna. じゃあ私イーバーを知ってるのそこに行かない私もミカさんの話聞きたいですオッケーあとちょっとだからそれまで頑張ろう So you know how the initial guy was like Oh young girls these days are too casual Mika would be a good example of that もしもし八神さんああそっちはどんな調子半年前はしきのテーブルについてた子と友達になりました店が跳ねた後、テンダーへ連れて行きますすごいな、完璧じゃんしかも跳ねた後って八神さんは今どちらですか<笑>うちの探偵事務所実は沙織さんと別れた後、俺の方でもいろいろあってねいろいろうん、まあ、いろいろお、oh? I think this might be good for 沙織 too Just getting out there and experiencing something new 今日だけですよ、八神さんハシキとショウノがこの店でどんな話をしていたのかを探るんだそのひついてたキャバ嬢と直接話がしたいなんとか見つけてみます店が終わる前に電話しますから Oh we're back to being Yagami here Okay You want me to just walk around? もしもし星野君か沙織さんの件おかげでうまくいったよクイーンルージュに入り込めたやっぱり僕は絶対に大丈夫だと思ってましたよ八神さんもお疲れ様でした今夜はこれからどうするんです沙織さんから連絡を待つそれまでは待ちだなどっかで時間潰すよわかりました気をつけてくださいねああ Oh, I really love Hoshino. Guess I'll wander a bit. Because usually in this kind of situation, where you know Hoshino, you know the boy likes the girl, and the girl's getting dressed up, the boy would totally normally be all like, oh my god, I'm so excited, blah 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 blah, right? But Hoshino is so professional. He's not really unnecessarily crass about it, which I really, really like. My yes, husband, yes. though. <laughs> hey, Kaido san? Yo, how's the Saori san situation? Going well. The Queen Rouge hired her on the spot. Nice. That means you're free right now, yeah? Yeah. Well, guess what? I've got a job for you, Tak.、Mm? A job? Yeah, and it's urgent. Get down to Public Park 3, man. What are you talking about? I'll explain when you get there. Just come on down. And he hung up. What are you playing at, Kaido san? But if it's urgent. Oh, everyone's always like that. Come on, I'm not gonna explain anything to you. Just come on down, alright? <laughs> okay, okay. We can do some side stuff here if we want to. Just kinda wondering. There are some things around here. Nah, nah, but nothing on the way. Maybe on the way back then. <laughs> I'm really sorry, everybody. This is just how I am. We can't walk into the karaoke place. Even though there's a person inside there and all that. Goodness. Public Park 3. We should know this place pretty well. What are you doing with that kid? Come on, do it! Do the Captain Cop pose! Kaido-san, what are you doing? Didn't you say this was urgent?、Oh. Yeah, and I meant it. Okay, who's the client? I am. I need you to do something about this little brat talk.、Hmm? Huh? 
He's following me around like a lost puppy. What did you do? <laughs> I can't believe I found Captain Cop, mister! Captain what? You don't know? Captain Cop! He's a police superhero who protects the city! He totally betrayed the evil organization who augmented him to fight crime instead! You're losing me here. This ankle biter was about to get kidnapped by some Yakuza and I stopped it. But now I've got a fan. He's so strong! He punched those dudes' his lights out. It was all like BAM! Crack! Oh, this is sweet. The kid must think he's some kind of TV superhero. He didn't transform though. Probably because you didn't have this, Captain Cop. Uh, the toys. What's that? You have to hold on to it and do this. Captain Cop! <laughs> it's pretty lame looking for a, a kid's toy though. It kind of looks like a Sailor Moon one instead. That's how you transform into Captain Cop. <laughs> oh yeah? You should give it a shot, Kaido-san. Uh? Oh no. Oh, well, there's our side case. Hey, what's your name, kid? Yusuke Okabayashi. I'm five. Do you know where your dad or your mom is? My dad usually stops working about now, so I came to pick him up. You came all the way to Gamurocho to pick him up? And that's where you met the bad men? Mm. Yeah. They asked where my dad is, but I didn't say a thing. Then they tried to get me. Why would they want to get you? Then the Yakuza were after his father? Why would they go after a kid? Beats me. But well, we probably better hurry, or the kid's father could end up in the same situation. True. If Yakuza are involved, it's gonna be bad news. Yup. Go do your thing, Doc. Oh, is that what your job is? Fine. But I need some more info on this guy. Hey, Yusuke-kun. Can you tell me what your dad looks like? His face, his hair, his weight? Sure. Um, he's skinny, he wears nice clothes, his eyes are tiny, and his hair is short. Alright, that should be enough to go on. Really? Nah. Where'd you find the kid, Karo-san? Down Supon Street. Alright, I'll go check out the area. Nah. Come on, mister, you have to do the Captain Cop pose. <sighs> Talk. Do me a favor and find this guy, quickly. Ha. <laughs> Guess I better find this guy before Kaido-san tears his hair out. <laughs> Poor Kaido-san, you should just do the pose. You should just do it. Supon Street! Not a street name we have to reference pretty often. Hold on. Hey, you can't hit me with a baton! Or a crowbar! I feel like the boost damage thing was a good investment. Whoa! <gasps> oh my god, what even was that? How did I do that? I don't know. Can I try again? <laughs> it's gotta be near the guy first. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> again, again. Closer. Oh, come on, dude. You just wouldn't cooperate. Yes, that did eat up some time. Okay. Whoa, what's happened here? Looks like kaido san made quite a scene. It would help me out if I could find any clues about the Yakuza trying to kidnap him. I might be able to find a clue lying around here somewhere. And no cats? There is a cat somewhere. Hmm? A silver bat. The Yakuza must have been wielding this when they tried to kidnap Yusuke. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it though, so it doesn't tell me much. Kitty? No, the kitty's not this way. There is just a lot of broken stuff everywhere. I hear you, buddy. 
Oh, whoa. Oh, a knife. The guy is trying to kidnap Yusuke it must have gotten pretty serious. But pulling a knife on Kaido seems to have been a bad idea. Hmm. Not much chance of getting fingerprints off it, so I guess it doesn't help me much. Wow, that's pretty insane. Is this a police station? What is this place? And where is that cat? Oh, I know you're around here somewhere. Maybe really high up? On the ceiling or something? No, I'm not looking for the cat! I'm looking for clues, gosh dang it! Whoa! Hmm, are these steel knuckles? These won't tell me who owned them though. There must be more to find then. Still though, they've got a lot of weapons here. Oh look, a cat! Hmm? There is something underneath that crate. Hmm? Napkins? Paper? Tissue paper? Hey, this is... Pocket tissues. Used? Gross. Oh. Hmm? An ad. Yakumaru loans, huh? I'm reading this right, aren't I? Yakumaru? Uh, I guess so. Wouldn't be much of a stretch to tie a bunch of Yakuza to loan sharking. Guess this might be a clue. Yeah, pocket tissues are really common in Asian countries, with ads on them and all. But it looks like that might be the piece we're looking for. Okay. My only lead is a pocket tissues ad. What do I do now? Kaito? Hey, talk. I know you're busy, but would you mind picking me up a bento from a convenience store or something? I'm thinking if I feed the kid, it'll shut him up. Eh? Huh? Can't you handle that on your own? You want me to cruise around town with a kid? Come on, man. I've got an image to uphold. What? You're afraid people will think you kidnapped him? Or worse, that he's yours? You know how it is. Come strong for me, talk. Get your own bento. Really? Fine, I'll pick one up. Actually, Kaido-san might have heard about this Yakumaru Loans company, especially if they've got Yakuza ties. At least delivering the bento gives me an excuse to ask him. You could've asked him that on the phone! There is a popo right here though, so that's good for us. Dwayne? He recognizes me. Bento lunch set? I'll have more. Why not? Doesn't cost that much anyway. Thank you. It's actually right across the dang street. Come on, man, Kaito. <laughs> Good throw, Yusuke. Heh, <laughs> I threw it like you did. Oh my gosh. See? Once you know how to do it, it's easy peasy. <laughs> Don't think you'll be needing that bento anymore. Hey, children. Nah. Kaido san. Tabo. Oh, Doc. What's up? Uh... What do you mean, what's up? Didn't you ask me to get you a bento? Oh, yeah, I did. Mind giving it to me? Mm. Give you the crappy one. Thanks, man. I'll feed the kid. By the way, Kaido-san, you ever heard of a Yakumaru loans? I found this ad in some pocket tissues near where the attack happened. Huh? Yakumaru loans? Can't see it rings any bells. Nothing, huh? I thought they might have been Yakuza related. <laughs> well, I'm just a civilian. Ha, a shady civilian. But if you don't know anything, I'm at a dead end. Nah. Did you say Yakumaru Loans, mister? I know that name. Eh? What? Really? My dad says they're bad Yakuza men, so don't go anywhere near them. 
Well, at least I was right about the Yakuza ties. <sighs> but that's not good. If the Yakuza are hunting down the kid's dad, they've probably already got him. Yeah, but the problem is figuring out where they're based. Bravo. Well, I'll leave that part to you, Doc. I'll keep an eye on Yusuke. Yeah, looks like you're a better babysitter than I am. <laughs> hey, mister! Let's play more catch! Oh. Sure, let's do it. You can complain all he wants. I think he's enjoying this. <laughs> Kaito, despite the Yakuza roots, might be a good dad one day. But if they already have Yusuke's father, I better get a move on. If Yakumaru loans are just a bunch of sharks, I should head into similar waters. There was a big money lending company on Tenkaichi Street. Well, if you look at the tissues, wouldn't there normally be an ad? I mean, you're saying there was an ad already, right? So wouldn't there be a address? Is there really not an address? Really? Well, that's fine. We'll ask some people about it right around the corner. Ah, we want to ask the guy. No, not apple pie. But this guy here. Yeah? Do you know? Nah. Kamaguchi-san, a moment of your time? Hmm? Yagami-san, what's going on? Does the name Yakumaru Loans ring any bells, by chance? I'm hoping I can find an office they do business out of. Freaking look up yellow pages. You want to find Yakumaru Loans? Talk about bad news. Oh. So you do know them. Any idea where I can find them? You're on your own on that one. I don't really want to get involved. If they trace it back to us, we'd be in big trouble. I wouldn't let that happen. <sighs> Just so you know, I'd usually charge about 50k for this kind of info. Eh? What? 50k? But since you're the one doing the asking, this one's on the house, Yagami-san. I got you about the loan for the Kansai guys, the Keihin gang. So you better be doing this for me for free. Got it. The Ushimara family is behind Yakumaru loans. They're on East Taihei Boulevard. Nice. Thanks. Don't go thanking me yet. I couldn't tell you where on that street the office is. That's okay. It's a start. I should be able to figure it out. Yagami -san. Be careful, Yagami-san. East Taihei Boulevard. Ushimara Family Office? If they're a registered business, and it sounds like they are, judging by how they have ads, wouldn't they normally be in some kind of yellow pages, or you can probably Google them. East Taihei Boulevard. The street isn't that long. The Ushimara family office should be around here. Here's the tricky part. I don't know which one of these offices is theirs. Ask! That guy's pretty suspicious, and he matches the description Yusuke kun gave me. Let's have a chat. Wait. If he matches the description, that might be the dad already. Then we don't have to go into the offices. What is he doing? Alright, just gotta do it. Nah. Hey, excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment? You thug! Give me back my Yusuke! Wait, let's not jump to any conclusions. I'm not Yakuza. <laughs> You're not? I thought you might have been the one who took him. Are you Yusuke-kun's father? Yeah. Yes, I'm Shintaro Okabayashi. I'm Yagami, a private investigator. My associate prevented Yusuke-kun from getting kidnapped earlier. <laughs> he did? Then Yusuke is safe? That's a huge relief. Care to tell me what's going on though? Why are the Yakuza after you too? Mm -hmm. oh, debts. They've been on me for a while now. Debt? I can understand them hounding you for money. But why are they resorting to kidnapping your son over it? They're trying to intimidate me. They probably wanted to exchange Yusuke for my lottery ticket. A lottery ticket? 
Why? It's a winning one? Yeah! I actually won! They know they need a pretty convincing argument to make me give it to those bloodhounds, though. How much did you win? 50 million. Eh? What? 50 million? I'm only about a million in the hole, and they want a ticket worth 50. Of course I refused, but then they escalated to threats. They said they'd kill Yusuke if I didn't give it to them. Why did you even let them find out about the lotto ticket? I got worried when I couldn't find him at the house, so I came down here to, uh, settle it. I see. I understand now. But where is the lottery ticket now? Sorry, but there's no way I'm telling you that. Fine. Oh, understandable. Can I ask where Yusuke is then? Sure, if you give me the lotto ticket. Yusuke Ken is in a park nearby. I'll take you there. Yusuke! Where are you? You've got to be kidding me! Kato-san, what happened? <clears throat> I had to take a piss, and while I was gone, Yusuke disappeared. <clears throat> what? Did you see anyone suspicious around? No, but I did hear a scream. I hope it wasn't the kid. <clears throat> Damn. He probably got kidnapped. No. Yusuke! I'm sorry. This is my fault. This is your fault, Kairo-san! What the heck? You had one job! Oh no, the 50 million! Hello? Yusuke? Are you alright? Did the kidnappers call him? Okay, alright. Just don't lay a hand on Yusuke! What do they say, Okabayashi-san? They told me to come to the alleyway in Champion District with the lotto ticket. And do not contact the police. This is a hostage situation now. We better be careful with our next step. Maybe there is a way to outsmart them, but how? Yo, talk. I've got an idea, I think. A Kaido special. Yeah? Let's hear it. <laughs> I don't like the smile. You're gonna have to get into character. What are you cooking up, Kaido-san? Is everything okay? Don't worry. If things go south, your son's safety will be my first priority. Hold on, Yusuke. We're coming, little buddy. Oh, he's already friends with him. But we gotta get him back. All this is happening while Saori is in the club. Y Yusuke! Dad! First things first. Did you call the cops? No, I didn't. Good. Hand over the ticket then. And if you value your kid's life, no funny business, got it? Ugh. Huh? Huh? My dad says you Yakuza guys are bad. And you know what happens to bad guys? Captain Cop comes and beats them up. Ah. Hey, what's this little brat going on about? Somehow getting a... A feeling about Kaido's plan? Hell if I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Captain Cop, I knew you'd show up. Uh? Shit. Everything's fucked. <gasps> Calm down, Kaido-san. You'll win one of these days. Uh? Who the hell are you guys? Huh? Uh? Can't you see I've got to take a piss? Or are you into that kind of thing? Ugh. We're in the middle of something here. Go find a gutter the lion, you drunk. Uh? The hell you say? You own this street or something? I don't think so. I just dropped 30k on lotto tickets, and they were all duds. Ugh. I got every right to be mad. What the hell are you going on about? You want to die that bad? I'm impressed this half-baked plan of this worked. Uh. <laughs> Talk looks so unimpressed. But I've gotta wonder if you plan on fighting them this whole time. Probably. Ah! Uh. You fucking drunk! Knock this fool out, boys. <laughs> eh. You really want to be my punching bags? This is gonna hurt like hell. <laughs> Go get him, Captain Cop! 
These guys are such bad Yakuza. They just let the kid go without any sort of negotiation. Oh, that was beautiful. Hey! You can't attack me from behind. That is rude. Quit it! Whoa, that guy has a gun! I didn't even realize. Oh, look at Kaido's name. <laughs> it says Captain Cop. Captain Cop. You want to do the honors? Oh, dang. I wanted to let Captain Cop finish it off, but that was just too much already. What the fuck? Wow! I knew he was a real Captain Cop! Yakuza suck! What the hell are you guys? Nobody special, just... Do it! Do it! A passing crime fighter. Huh? Huh? Ah! Oh, Kaito! I thought you were gonna do the transformation scene! Thank you, you two. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm glad you get safe and all. But did the lottery ticket make it through that okay? Of course. Can you lend me the Captain Cobb transformation stick for a second, Yusuke? No. <gasps> huh? Sure. No way. Oh my god. What? Just leave it at home or something. Why you gotta overcomplicate? <laughs> Damn. That's where you had it? I knew they'd ransack my house to find it, so I put it in the one thing that never leaves my son's hand. I don't think the Yakuza even considered the possibility that Yusuke kun might have the ticket, even though they had it the whole time. Nah. Hey, mister. Huh? Huh? What, kid? When are you gonna do the transformation pose? Yeah. Nah, huh? That again? But you're real! You beat up all the bad Yakuza! <laughs> the kid in his bright smile. He's not gonna let you leave until you do it, Kaido-san. Yeah. What? Please, mister! Ah. Uh. Okay, but just this once, okay? Oh yeah! Captain! Cop! Nice. Uh-huh. Thanks, Kato-san. You're the best. Did it for the children. Wow! Wow! Captain Goff is real! He's the coolest! <laughs> yeah. You think so, kid? I hope I grow up to be cool too, mister. Yeah, give it your best shot, kid. I'm pretty tough to bait. And then, and then... I'm going to fight bad Yakuza with you! Nani? Huh? Say what? Ha! <laughs> yeah, Kairo-san! Don't you have some streets to clean up? Come on, Yusuke! Don't grow up to be like me! Forget it. I'm not cool. You don't want to be like me. <gasps> huh? Why not? I want to fight together! Nah. I can't fight the Yakuza. For... reasons. Why not? Aren't you Captain Cop? Yeah, um... As of today, I'm retiring. Huh? Why? That's, uh, because... You're gonna be the Captain Cop. I found a worthy successor. <gasps> huh? Yusuke, you were really brave today, you know that? You didn't even cry during all that scary stuff. You're gonna make a great crime fighter, Yusuke. A real hero of justice. Me? You mean it? I'm counting on you. Yeah, and I think you could do even better than me. So grow up strong, kid. Oh. Okay, I'll do my best. You can't tell the kid he used to be Yakuza too. 
Looks like you got to be a real hero today, Kaido-san. got a heartwarming tale here. 